there's already another keep slash lucky draw here in Warzone Mobile. It's only been like five days since the last one with the MP5 released, and we showcase this one. It's got custom animations, custom inspect reloads, all that stuff. If you guys want to check that out, it's on the channel. Uh, but I guess we'll now go ahead and do it for the Soul Reaper M41. Uh, get this blueprint, check out everything it does. That way we can show it off so you guys can experience the whole thing without having to get it for yourself. Uh, and our first draw here is going to be 40 COD points. If you don't know how these work, each time you spin this, you're guaranteed to get one of these items. Uh, and then after it, you can spin it again. It almost always doubles. So now we're going to spend 100 COD points to get the next item. So technically, you can get the legendary weapon for like 40 COD points. But that's, let's be honest, it's unrealistic. We're probably going to have to spend close to $100 worth of COD points, if not $150. So draw number three, unless we get lucky. Nope, there we go. Get a weapon sticker. I just want to see the custom uh, inspect. I know people like to see those and us making a video on it kind of lets us showcase it without you having to worry about, you know, spending the 150 bucks yourself to see the inspect. And I, I want to make a video showing all the inspects at one point. So we might as well go ahead, get this bad boy. Of course, it's going to be our last one. Last time we lucked out and it was our second to last one. So an emblem there. So now it is 1,100 cob points. Go ahead, put it spin, spin the machine one more time. And we are getting the secret Scourge. I don't think any of the other blueprints come with tracers. Obviously, the legendary M4 is, and it should hopefully have its own unique inspect. There's also a pretty cool looking operator skin this time. Okay, uh, we got the Perlicious. If, I think it's going to be our last draw. I think last time we lucked out, we saved 4,800. Oh, there's a chance. So that is the Shrouded operator skin for Izzy. That is... um. Actually, it, does Izzy have any other operator skins? I think that's her first additional operator skin. So last time we got lucky and we managed to not have to do it the last time to get this tack in. We're going to have to spend 3,500 COD points. I'm almost positive we're going to get this. And then we're going to have to spend 4,800 COD points to get the legendary blueprint. Unless, yeah, of course. There we go. Oh, PA 200. All right. 4,800 COD points. And this is going to guarantee us the soul reaper legendary but first let's put that izzy operator skin on that's if we can find her i really okay i keep clicking on the wrong one where is izzy i really wish that these operator skins also came with new finishing moves and yeah i think this is the first izzy operator skin so this is what izzy normally looks like and there is now the shrouded skin that we have unlocked and i'm sure some people are going to wish this skin was on the main series games uh, anything we're getting in this anything that comes from the keeps these are exclusive to Warzone Mobile. You are not able to get these in the main series games, even if you unlock this M4 blueprint that we just got. No, if you get it on mobile, you are not going to be able to use this in the main series game. So there it is, the Soul Reaper. Go ahead, equip that bad boy on our class. We'll also put it on for private match because um, I think we'll start with private match and then we'll head into BR. Okay, well, I like the skybox better on Battle Royale. Also, we get more breathing room here. So we're going to go ahead, get a loadout drop and test it out. But before we do that, we can actually use the parachute, go in third person and get a better look at the skin. It's kind of far away, but um, either way, I think, I think a lot of people are going to be a fan of this Izzy skin because a lot of people love the Izzy operator and she just hasn't got any customizable skin. So I feel like this is definitely going to be a more fan favorite here. Uh, but with farther ado, I guess let's go ahead, get ourselves a loadout card. I also want to down an enemy. I'm pretty sure that this is just going to come with Izzy's default finishing move, which I think is the bootlicker finishing move where she kicks him in the face. And I guess we'll find out if we can uh, find someone to take down while we're... Oh, oh, there's a dude to take down. All right. Oh, um, wait, what? I get, Okay, I guess he didn't have his... Ah, uh, great. Oh, there we go. Loadout drop. Don't mind if I do. Go ahead, pick this up. And there it is, our M4. So this was the legendary that we got last time. Quick little refresher. This was the inspect. Yeah, the gun just kind of floated in the air. And these are the tracers it came with. Now, here is the brand new M4 that we are able to get. So looks a little bit more futuristic. It's got more silver parts in here. I guess let's just inspect it. Oh, hold on. There's an enemy. There's an enemy. Okay, a lot to unpack there. I will say this inspect is definitely better than the last one. I went one more time. So pull it out. There's a bayonet that happens. You slash it. You open a portal. A bunch of skulls fly out, get absorbed into your gun. And then it gets like supercharged. Yeah, way better. And this, in my opinion, is better than a lot of the Mastercraft inspects. But is it $150 better? 
Eh, I'm, yeah, that, that, that is not, not super sure about that one. Let's see the, in, or the bullet effects. So when you shoot it, just kind of red tracers. The barrel also does light up. Does it got a custom reload? No. What about if it's empty? Little disappointing. So the M4 are the um, Lockman Shroud, are just the Lockman sub. This one has a custom reload. When you go to reload it, you kind of got that soul that comes out and gets absorbed back into the gun. And it's different if the gun is completely emptied out. Look at this reload. Yeah, cool stuff. Unfortunately, this one doesn't have with a custom reload. I, I was hoping that was something we were going to see for all of these. I'm hoping with camos, you still get to see a decent amount of it. Uh, I didn't really get a good look at the death effect. So let's find someone else to take out and get a closer closer look of what happens when we finish someone off using this M4. So let me know in the in the comments below if you want me to continue doing these, if you want to continue seeing what these inspects and death effects and bullets look like. If not, like I said, we can move on to just kind of the bundles and stick in that realm. And there's a dude. That's what we're looking for. I don't want to... Okay, let's get close. I want to get a very close finish on this guy. I want to see what the effect looks like. Let's get a reload off. All right, here we go. So a portal opens on underneath them and like a tornado of skulls surround them oh there's another dude all right let's get real up close and personal i wish people had self revives we should have played um a mode where people spawn in with selves that way we could have got him on the ground and he's in a vehicle i don't know how i'm gonna compete with that please don't run me over oh all right there he is there he is there he is there he is oh the vehicle's coming back around all right let's just stay scoped in so that, that right there is the death effect. Like I said, it's the death effect's pretty pretty okay. In my opinion, the coolest part about it is the Mastercraft inspect. And I know if you're someone from COD Mobile, COD Mobile has a bunch of weapons with really crazy inspects. And this, this doesn't really compare to those. But in terms of the stuff that we have in Modern Warfare 3, which is what the items you can use in this, this is one of the cooler inspects. This might be the best inspect out of all the Modern Warfare 3 Mastercrafts you're able to use. I don't know, the new... Um, the new ice AR, the, um, MCW one, that one with the crystal in it. I like that one a lot. And that one only costs 20 bucks. Not, um, not 150, which granted, yes, you can get this. You can get this M4 for cheaper than 150 bucks, but most people are probably going to have to buy the entire keep to be able to get it. Oh, is that a dude? Hello? Hi there. Come on. I just want one person to have a self. I want one person I can try to use the finishing move on to see if it's Izzy's default finisher. Oh, Okay, the weapon looks a little bit sicker in a dark environment. You can really see all of the red lights. Oh, the muzzle. Wait, it's got like a ghost muzzle flash. And oh, you can also see the, um, okay, in the dark environment, you can see that the tracers are actually a lot cooler. You get kind of like a ghost there. You get it coming out of the muzzle flash. The gun's got a mist all over it. And I assume this would stay when you put camos on it. I just, I want to get a finishing move. Oh, please don't. Please don't, buddy. Where? I don't know where. I guess he went in one of the cubbies. Oh, nope. He's on that side. He's on that side. He's on that side. Oh, no. Okay. No, he's behind a pole. Okay. Dude, I'm getting played like a fiddle. And then this dude has a dude shooting him, and I don't got ammo for that. Okay. Reload this. I think... Aiming at the... Dude, I'm seeing more and more people in vehicles. I do not want to get ran over. That's like the ultimate just disrespect. I don't I don't want to be... I don't want to be flattened by no vehicle in this. That is the biggest thing, is to keep our dignity and not be flattened. Okay. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. I know there's a guy over here somewhere. We're kind of going full for... Is that, is that a body? Nope, that's a dude. Oh, wait, I think I was shooting at a body. Oh, oh. You, thank you. You don't know how happy you just made me, man. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. That's Izzy's finishing move, right? I think it was. Hey, buddy. Oh, you want to go indoors? All right. I got a Lockman. I got a Lockman. Snoop Dogg. Oh, and there's GG. All right, let's see if we can finish some people in MP. Ooh, shipment. Okay, this inspect's about to look wild on shipment. Hold on. Let's see how it looks in a dark map. Honestly, kind of about the same. Uh, I wonder if I can get someone to pick up my weapon. I wish... I kind of want to see what other people see when I inspect it. They see the giant portal just floating in the air. Also, I didn't put camos on it. All right, come on. Camos, please look cool. I forgot. This is a Modern Warfare 2 weapon, so we're kind of stuck with the Modern Warfare 2 camos. Oh, wait. It's got the alt texture. Okay, poly... 
Polly looks kind of fire. The alt texture for Polly, kind of hidden. We've also got the event camos here, which is... Ooh, Boeing Blossoms looking fire. I, I love alt texture blueprints. So, I mean, there's so many different combos. Oh, this, this one probably looks sick with the alt. Eh, not as cool as what I thought it would. Never mind. What about that? Honestly, I'm thinking just sticking with Polly. Ooh, okay. Dude, there's too many camos to choose from. The thing about this is the, there's so many different camos you've been able to earn over time in Modern Warfare 3. It's like, what, what do I even choose to put on here? Like, we just have so many different camos unlocked, and it's... I wish you could sort by animated. I wish I could just see all of the animated camos, because I hate even go to, like, three or four different menus to find camo. Okay, I do really like the way Polyatomic looks on this. I like how you can still see all of the little red bits on the side of the weapon, and you can also see it when you shoot. Now let's try to get the finisher. The, uh, the thing about MP is the default class has the one where it allows you to go down... The default, the default class has the perk that allows players to go down and get res, so it should be pretty easy to perform a finisher here. Also, we could probably get a better look at the death effect. Excuse me, excuse me. Just trying to... Nope, nope, trying not to get demolished here. It's been a little bit since we played. There we... Nope. No, uh, of course we're going to get in a lobby where no one has final stand. It's going to be the first lobby I've ever played in with not a single soul using Final Stand. Whereas earlier, I mean, you guys know, there's Final Stands in every... Oh, right there. That guy's got Final Stand. No, he does not. There we go. Death. There we go. Death. Nice little death effects on that. Duck down. Pop back up. Get him. Yeah, I, I think we're going to have to find a different lobby. I do not think this lobby is one that's rocking Final Stand. Woo! Oh, hi, bud. Hi, bud. Hi, bud. Hi, bud. What the? Okay, now, can I get up there? Okay, yep, it's over. It is over. Sorry, so. Yeah, that is 100% Izzy's default finishing move. Go ahead, get the M4 again. So yeah, the inspect, pretty cool. Think it's better than the last one. Wish it had a custom reload. The traces are pretty cool. Uh, but overall, like, like I said, if I wasn't making this for a video, I probably wouldn't have got it myself. But the whole point of these are so I could showcase everything. That way you can make your own informed decision. Or you can just kind of live through and see everything that comes in this bundle without having to get it for yourself. Let me know if you want to see more of these in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of the day. Peace. Lego unlocked. He's Lego unlocked. It's going to unlock all these. Camus.